Y'all, we're finally making that egg white bread. Come on. Welcome to Highfalutin Low Carb, the almost weekly web series where we find and test the best low carb recipes this crazy internet has to offer. Today, we're finally tackling that viral egg white protein bread. Stay tuned. All right, guys, egg white bread, protein bread, carnivore bread, protein sparing bread, whatever you call it. If you've been eating keto or low carb for any length of time, I'm, there's no doubt that you have seen it. There are multiple variations, and we're gonna try a couple of those today. Now, the first one is what I think is probably the original, and this is her modified version. This is the easiest protein sparing bread. This is by Maria Emmerich over at um, mariamindbodyhealth.com. This is the first I'd really ever seen of this. Um, she uh, has modified her recipe to make it easier than it has in the past. And so we're doing her latest one of those. Uh, the second recipe is by Indigo Neely. And this is her video on YouTube called This Ingredient Perfected My Egg White Bread. No memory foam no sunken sides. And as you can tell by her title, I'm gonna leave a link to both of those down below. As you can tell by her title, um, some people think this bread tastes and feels like memory foam. Um, it is notoriously, particularly the original recipes that use um, egg whites and egg white powder. A lot of those were notorious for sinking, the sides falling, misshapen loaves that were kind of hard to deal with. It didn't really look like bread. And just to be very, honest with you um, I don't it's uh, anytime I've seen anybody talk about it put it on Facebook put it on YouTube put it on Instagram they're always holding it real weird it's like they've scooped up suds out of the bathtub and are trying to hold it like everybody's forgotten how to use their fingers when they're showing it to you because there's something weird about it and I can't figure it out and you know if you've watched my bread battle video five years ago where I actually cursed about it I'm not a fan of oopsie bread class bread, all those eggy, eggy, eggy things. So I'm very curious to see how this works. It is very popular in the protein uh, sparing modified fasting community. I've actually uh, purchased Maria's um, uh, PSMF book. If you were interested, I'll leave a link to that below. Very informative information there. So um, let's see, are these people that love this bread just old cloud bread, oopsie roll hangers on that like this weird texture or um, is this actually a viable option for bread? We're gonna find out today. But before we begin, I need to give a huge thank you to the sponsor of this video, Thrive Market. Thrive Market is an online membership-based grocery store on a mission to make healthy living easy and affordable for everybody. You can shop their catalog of thousands of name brand products and sort that by the values that matter most to you. Now for us, that's probably gonna be keto and low carb, but you can search by over 90 different diets and values like uh, non-GMO, BPA-free, raw, vegan, uh, whatever it is, uh, you can search their catalog by those specifications. Now, like a lot of big box discount stores there is a membership fee to join Thrive Market um, there are a couple of options uh, you can choose uh, just for a month to see how it works and if you're gonna like it or you can do like me and choose the year plan gets the membership fee down to less than five dollars a month and I know that I'm gonna at least save that in fact my last order was around fifty dollars and as you can see here I saved about twenty I think twenty nine dollars on that order um, now what's nice is they have a um, happiness guarantee if for any time in those first 30 days you, you think this is not going to work, you can cancel at any time. And at the end of a year, if you haven't saved as much as the membership cost, they'll actually credit you back the difference. So right now, Thrive Market has a fantastic opportunity for you. If you use the link down here on the screen or in my video description below, thrivemarket.com slash highfalutin low carb, you will get 30% off your first order and a free gift uh, valued at up to $60. So thank you, uh, Thrive Market, for sponsoring this this. It's sponsorships like yours that keep channels like mine on the air. And for that, I am truly appreciative. You guys, if you've been with me for any length of time, you know I've been a partner with Thrive for probably over three, maybe four years now. So thanks again, Thrive Market. Be sure to use the link guys down below. If you want to support me, go support them. Thrivemarket.com slash highfalutin low carb. You'll get 30% off your first order and up to $60 in free gifts on that first order. All right, let's go make some of this bread. Come on. All right, guys, so let's get started on this first recipe. This is Maria's newest 
and latest update to her original protein sparing bread. This is called the easiest protein sparing bread and it's on mariamindbodyhealth.com. There's a link here on the screen and in the video description. So this is all pretty easy. Her original recipe called for egg white um, powder, which this is, and then also a dozen egg whites. There was a lot of ingredients and it kind of became an expensive recipe. But she has um, uh, simmered this down, I guess you could say, to the bare minimum and for the best results. So that's what we're gonna do here. And this is egg white protein powder. So that's gonna go into a stand mixer. You can probably do this by hand, with a, not by hand, probably, but with a hand mixer. Um, but this has got to um, whip for over five minutes. So um, build yourself up some muscles or get a good uh, hand mixer. Stand mixer is probably preferable. To this, we're going to add a little bit of allulose uh, sweetener. This is powdered allulose. This helps with browning, gives it the brown top. Um, I've seen this even by Maria herself referred to as Keto Wonder Bread, meaning the soft white Wonder Bread brand that you see, um, which kind of has a little bit of sweetness to it. Sandwich bread in America. I know in Europe and other places you don't. Um, uh, we, we had uh, lightly sweetened breads. Uh, to this, um, the other ingredients are going to be um, some salt and then cream of tartar. Uh, cream of tartar obviously helps the lift with this. So I'm just going to turn this on low to get this mixed together before we add our water. And this is as simple as it is. There's really not a whole lot going on here. So um, just give that a quick uh, second to sort of whisk itself. And then we're going to add in our cup and a half of water. If you want to know exact measurements of all the other stuff, you know where to go. So I'm going to pour this in. I'm gonna bump this up to high, set the timer for five minutes. I'll occasionally scrape down the sides and I'll meet you back here when this is in really stiff peaks. See you in just a bit. All right, guys, while we're whipping our egg whites, um, I just wanted to give a, just a quick teachable moment. You guys know that I don't give exact measurements for these recipes. They aren't my recipes. I'm just here to test them. The people that did do the hard work, they deserve the traffic, so I've always put the links down below. And invariably, in every video, most of you get it, but there's always a comment or two that says, I can't find the links. How do I get the links? Where are the links? Let me just show you really quickly. If you're on a desktop and you're watching a video, do you see this down here where where it says show more click that right there and then look look at all this that expands there's so much information that we as creators put in this video description box you can cop you know select the text and copy a recipe and paste it into an email or paste it into another document to print all, there's a lot of information in there and a lot of you are not realizing that because YouTube kind of makes it difficult to find this if you're on mobile look I'm going to scroll here. There's a tiny little button that says more. It's just a one word. Click that little button and then look, it expands. Click show more. There's pages and pages of information, usually under almost every YouTube video. That's where we do all the hard work. And that's where all these links and other things people are talking about when they say in the video description below. So I apologize if I'm preaching to the choir. That's what I mean. Click show more. Click show more. Okay, so it's been exactly five minutes and I just want to check the consistency of this. Oh, wow. Yeah, that is thick. <laughs> Look at that. And then I'm just going to run a um, spatula through this, a spoon real quick, just to make sure, you know, if you use a stand mixer at all, that sometimes there's stuff on the bottom you cannot get to. So let's just make sure all this is completely incorporated. Wow, it is so weird. And this is, I don't, it's supposed to be bread, y'all. It's gonna come out, oops, it's supposed to come out to be bread. Now, uh, according to her directions, I have taken a loaf pan and greased it with avocado oil spray. And we're just gonna cram every bit of this into this loaf pan and it's gonna go way over the top. And this is where I guess some of the recipes in the past before it had been quote unquote perfected had difficulty keeping its shape. 
every time they you would see it sliced, it looked like some sort of sea creature with about 10 tentacles and arms coming off of it. Sometimes you would have a loaf. If you read through the comments, so many people had great results. So many people had terrible results. They're complaining about wasted ingredients and you know, this is too expensive to just keep experimenting with. And then I guess Maria and some others have gone ahead and wow, look at this, have gone ahead and, 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 and created a, a, a more reliable recipe that involves this egg white powder and other things. So, all right, this is a nine by five loaf pan. And without making too much of a mess, haha, <laughs> y'all know me. Look at that. That is cuckoo magoo. But I'm excited to see where it goes because it looks interesting. So you just want to make sure somewhat of a loaf shape, somewhat of a loaf shape. And then this is going to cook for a half an hour, 30 minutes at 325 degrees Fahrenheit. Her old recipes that had egg whites, some of them you had to leave in the oven, you know, for like 30 minutes after it cooked and hold your tongue just right and say prayers to everybody in town. Um, but this, apparently you don't. Hold on. With great trepidation, that is tall. Wowza. Magowza. So what worries me, obviously, is um, this is basically a recipe for a meringue. You know what I mean? It's not beaten as stiff. Uh, I mean, it's beaten stiffer than meringue, but I'm curious how this becomes bread, but we're gonna do it 30 minutes in the oven. I'll come back, show you what it looks like, and then we're gonna get started on our second recipe. I'm not gonna bake them together. I think they need to live in the oven by themselves. I'm not gonna do anything different uh, than the recipes call for. So meet you back here in just a minute. Hold your tongue just right. All right, guys, our first loaf. <laughs> is out of the oven. It's so hot, I'm scared I'm gonna burn myself. But I mean, we've obviously had a blowout. <laughs> the, <laughs> it is interesting to say the least. Um, so I'm just gonna put this over on the back burner, uh, sorry, on a uh, cooling rack. This has to cool, but I had to show you uh, what we're working with here. Weighs almost nothing. Kind of shiny, kind of meringue. We'll find out. All right, with that cooling in the back, it's got to cool completely before it comes out of the pan and before we can even attempt to slice it. So we're going to get started on our second recipe. The oven is at 325, which is the same temperature. This is based off of that exact same recipe. This is by a channel uh, called Indigo Neely, N-I-L-I. -I. I'm going to put a link here and in the video description below to both her Instagram and to this video. This video is titled... <clears throat> This ingredient perfected my egg white bread. No memory foam, no sunken sides. So um, uh, she certainly gives credit to Maria Emmerich and um, the uh, Maria Mind Body Health recipe, but her secret ingredient is supposed to change the game here for this. And I just gotta say, I, if you haven't visited her channel, I just sort of discovered her researching this and a lot of people have pointed to this particular recipe for me to try. I love her channel. She is precious. I love the way she presents her information. She's just so casual and fun. And I've binged like 15 of her videos already since I've recently found her. So anyway, so this is going to start exactly like our other one. We're going to start with uh, the same amount of egg white powder, powdered egg whites. And um, again, if you want to know how much, go to their, go to their channels. I showed you earlier how to find that for those of you that don't know how to get there. To this, we're also gonna add um, the allulose. This helps with the browning. And also the salt and the cream of tartar. Cream of tartar, anytime you're dealing with egg whites like this that have gotta stay lifted, uh, is invaluable. I don't know what cream of tartar is, but I remember as a kid, uh, the dentist came to show you how to brush your teeth at school and talked about getting your plaque and tartar off. And then one time my mother was, shortly after that was, making divinity candy for Christmas. And she I was like, mom, what is that? And she said, it's cream of tartar. And in my little elementary school brain, I was like, dentist, plaque, tartar, putting tartar in the food. It just blew my mind. So I wonder what tartar is. Let's look that up. Somebody leave, let me know now below. All right, uh, just gonna put this on load, make sure things get mixed up. 
before we add our water. Again, it's about a cup and a half of water. Then we're gonna set our timer again for five more minutes for this to uh, whip to stiff peaks. And then we're gonna add the secret ingredient, which I'll tell you about in just a bit. Um, I've, I'm imagining we don't add it now because it will probably interfere with the lifting and a whipping of the egg whites. So this is looking pretty good, getting kind of dusty. I'm gonna pour in the water. Turn this up a bit and I'll see you back here in about five minutes. guys while our egg whites are beating for our second recipe i don't have another teachable moment but i do have a big favor to ask if you wouldn't mind please hit the like button on this video the thumbs up button down below it lets the algorithm on youtube know this is a quality video that other people might like and if you haven't subscribed already i ask you please hit the subscribe button at the bottom down there and uh, tag the little bell so that you're notified just as soon as i release a video also if you don't follow me over on facebook or on Instagram and you have those platforms, please follow me over there. It's just highfalutin, low carb. Um, I talk a little more frequently, a little more freely over there, talk about my regular meals, funny things, what's happening during the day. So if you're into that, please be sure uh, to um, click the links down below in my video description or just look up highfalutin, low carb, all one word on both Instagram and Facebook. All right, thanks guys. Okay, so it's been five minutes. Uh, this is uh, whipped to stiff peaks and now we add her secret ingredient that changed everything. And that is whole dried eggs. This is whole egg powder, just powdered eggs. And this is gonna go in while we're uh, sort of going slow. She's gonna add it in, let me get a spoon. Um, she adds it in a few tablespoons at a time because it's kind of clumpy and you wanna make sure it gets incorporated evenly in this mixture. Um, she answers the question, can, Neely, can I just use a regular um, whole egg since this is just egg powder? And I believe her exact quote was unequivocally no. Uh, she's tried it multiple times, um, even adjusting for the liquid that's in the, in the real egg. And apparently it just doesn't behave the same. So um, this is whole egg powder. I believe it's the Judy's brand. I think that's the name of it that she recommended. So I'm gonna put this in. This is gonna go for a few more minutes. Um, this is adding some fat and some other things to this recipe uh, that I'm assuming helps hold it into its shape a little better. Um, so I'm gonna make sure this is mixed up. Okay, so like I said, the oven is on 325 now, and let's um, get this into our loaf pan. Smells a little bit eggy, but not as much as you would think, truth be told. Um, now, um, she also comes in from the bottom here and sort of folds this in, because if you use a stand mixer, you know sometimes that little nubbin in the bottom doesn't get completely mixed in, and you want all this incorporated. So. Put this in and then um, this cooks for four, um, 40 minutes, not 30 minutes. And she said she never again will oil her pan. She will use parchment and it is so much easier. So I've cut a parchment sling for this just as she did. And we're gonna do it just like Neely said to do. And um, let me just try to get all of this out of here. Lord, you don't wanna waste it, this stuff's expensive. I tried to use all the brands that they recommended um, just so that there are no discrepancies. You know, when you get to dealing with these processed products, things, people process things differently sometimes. Now she bakes this also in two miniature loaf pans, little, I think little seven by three or four. This again is a nine by five. I notice she comes in here on her sides like this so that there's no blowout maybe like on our other one. So, okay, let me wash my hands. Okay, so this is gonna go in the oven for 40 minutes. Let me try to get that little bump down. And then um, I will let you know, I will come back and show you this. We're gonna let them cool completely before we remove them from the pans. And then we're gonna slice them and taste them and see if this tastes like upholstery foam or uh, some semblance of bread. All right, see you guys in just a bit. 
All right, guys, so we are back. Our loaves are baked and cooled. Um, I've taken them out of the pan, but put them back in uh, after I dried the pan out. They do collect a little water. Both of them collected water in the bottom. Want to get them out of there pretty quickly. But I also, while we were waiting for the second one, I didn't want them to fall. I wanted you to see what it looked like as it came out. Now, this is the... Gosh, get out of the way. This is the original. This is the Maria Mind Body Health, um, her modified. And as you can see, there's some shape issues, but all in all, it looks okay. Um, let me show you here. It did come out okay. I would tell you to make sure you spray around the lid of the pan too, because all this fold over that blew out here, that's what stuck underneath there. So we're gonna put this to the side. This is our second recipe. This is um, Indigo Neely's uh, bread. And as you can see, it looks more like a loaf of bread. Let me, it's gonna be loud, hold on. Um, that looks like a loaf of commercial sandwich bread. It all, I mean, look at it underneath there. Look, look, I mean, that's beautiful. Um, it is not nearly as glossy with this meringue gloss. I don't know what else to call it that the first one had. So I'm hopeful that between the two of them, we have an option for bread. So um, what does it taste like? That's the most important one. What does it feel like? Um, before we do that, let's talk about nutritional information. This one here with the blowout on uh, the right, this is the first one. This is the easiest protein sparing bread by Maria Emmerich over at the, uh, over at mariamindbodyhealth.com. This makes 12 servings. If you slice this into 12 slices, one slice is 44 calories, zero grams of fat, nine grams of protein, a half a gram of total carbs. So, and so that would be net carbs as well because there's probably no fiber here. Our second loaf, this one over here, this is the modified version. This is the, per, I'm calling it perfected egg white bread. Her uh, video is titled, This Ingredient Perfected My Egg White Bread by Indigo Neely. This makes 16 servings. If you get 16 slices out of this, one slice is 38 calories. You've got 0.1 grams of total carbs a half a gram of fat per slice, and 6.6 .6 grams of protein. So they're pretty, I mean, close here, right? They're close. Which is the most bread-like? I'm gonna come in here for our first one with a sharp serrated knife and just cut off a piece of this. I wanna leave some to take a nice thumbnail photo with. Okay. <laughs> first of all, I mean, it just looks like upholstery foam. It looks like upholstery foam. Let's cut a total slice and I'm not gonna be weird with my fingers. I, what does this feel like? What does it hold up to? Mash that bread. If you, if you ain't gonna mash it in front of me, there's a reason you ain't. Okay, it feels squeaky. Um, it feels, doesn't smell eggy. Doesn't really have any odor. If you mash it flat, yeah. It doesn't spring back completely. Gets pretty easy to mash together. I cannot get over Let's try to tear it like a piece. There's, there's not a bubble in that. It is a solid, I could make a bed out of that. Has a weird, I don't know if you can tell that. Hmm. Okay. The great news is it does not taste like the Oopsie Roll or the cloud bread to me. It doesn't, thank God. Um, the texture is almost like a marshmallow. Think about the marshmallow, a big fat marshmallow on your tongue. Not sweet like that, but that really dense texture. You could certainly make a sandwich out of that. What I don't like is when people make these kinds of breads and, the, and the, the response is, well, it makes great French toast. Well, we can make French toast out of a hundred different recipes. We want to make a sandwich and that, how, does, it, does it hold up? All right, so this is our second recipe. This is the one with the secret ingredient. I can take it out, it cuts differently already. Oh, that's pretty, okay. You see the holes? 
I'm trying to hide my head so the camera will focus. Do you see the holes in that? Focus right there. It has, it feels different, feels different. Let's cut a slice. Y'all. I hope my camera will focus, come here and focus on that. I hope my camera will focus so you can see how different that is, okay? Feels like bread, feels kind of like white bread, kind of does, kind of st almost like stale bread, right? Like, like sandwich bread that's kind of a little bit stale. Look at that, look at that. That, talk about memory foam. I mashed that, it came right back. Look at this one, this is the piece earlier I mashed, still got a big old thumbprint in it. It's thin as a rail. It doesn't bounce back. So this might be like memory foam in a good way. I am, okay, let's listen to it. Okay. No discernible egg scent. Mm -hmm. Wow. I got a, <laughs> hold on. The first one you would never give to somebody who wasn't low carb, look at that. And they would say, oh, this is bread. They would say, what is that? This second one by Neely, if you gave that to somebody who wasn't low carb, they'd say, that's an interesting bread. They would know it's bread. It feels like bread. It holds up like bread. It tastes a little bit like stale sandwich bread, but this is the closest thing. I prefer that over most of the almond flour and coconut flour breads. I'd slather some mayo on that and make a turkey sandwich in a heartbeat. I'm really, really surprised. And I know it seems like a lot of ingredients. Um, it wasn't a lot of work at all. Um, I'm kind of shocked at how well that, that turned out. So um, I can, on a scale of one to 10 of texture and taste, I would give the first one about a four and I would give this one about a seven and a half. Um, as far as closeness to bread, I'm, I'm, I'm kind of shocked and impressed. I'm, I, I can't wait to make that into some other shapes, some buns and some rolls that, that is quite good. So there you have it folks, protein sparing bread, egg white bread, car carnivore bread, whatever you want to call it. Can it be done? Yes. Would I splurge and add a little bit of the whole egg powder? Not egg yolk powder, like some of the people in her comments suggested. Whole egg powder? Yes, absolutely. Um, this is probably going in my regular rotation. I can convince my spouse to eat that too. So, all right guys, hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, be sure to hit the thumbs up and the bell button down below. Make sure you're subscribed. I say it every time, these videos are a way for me to maintain my low carb way of eating and looking in the end of that camera as often as I can helps keep me honest. So I appreciate that you guys have come along for the journey. Be sure to um, check out my sponsor. Uh, thank you again, Thrive Market. Uh, I say it, I'll also say this a lot. Uh, sponsorships aren't uh, why I do this, they're how I do this. So be sure to use the link thrivemarket.com slash highfalutin low carb. Uh, you will get 30% off of your uh, first order and free gifts valued at up to $60. So thank you Thrive Market for that and for, for helping out my audience. Guys, go check them out there. Lastly, um, if you're not one of my rock stars, I invite you to check it out. I'll, their names are going to start to scroll over here. Um, it's my Patreon members. If you don't know what Patreon is, Think of it like the tip jar for the internet that allows people like you who enjoy what people like me do here on YouTube 
you can give a dollar to a month just to sort of keep the train on the tracks as it were. So thank you to those guys. Without them, none of this would be possible. I've also created channel memberships. So be sure to check below in YouTube right here. You can join and be a member and your video, your comments and questions will bubble up to the top by being a member there. So if you want to check that out, be sure to do that too. I love you guys. And remember, today is a good day to have a good day. Bye-bye.